Hey guys, this is MTP Flyers, and tonight I'm bringing you guys the Verizon iPhone versus the AT&T iPhone. And I could have done an unboxing, but really, what, what's what's the point, honestly? You guys know what it looks like. It looks exactly like the AT&T version. They moved the antenna from the top to the side. Uh, the switch went down a little bit for the vibrate. No SIM card. That's about it, guys. There's some internal differences. Uh, you know, they're getting things set up for the future. But what I want to bring to you guys, what I really want to bring to you guys today, is the subtle differences in the phones. I want to test them out. Phone calls, internet speed, uh, 3G internet speed, not Wi-Fi, 3G. So we're going to bring that to you guys. But first, I want to check out the browsers on these. And uh, back where I actually started doing videos a while ago, a couple years ago, from my dining room. So figured I'd try it out here today. New camera. And uh, we'll get to the tests right now. Okay, guys. So we have here in front of you, obviously, the combatants, the AT&T iPhone and the Verizon iPhone. Now, uh, a couple things I wanted to go over tonight, uh, as I just explained browser speed. Now, obviously, we want to make this as fair as possible, so I was goofing around a little bit and uh, was testing these out on my own. As you can see, I got a bunch of stuff opened up here, so we're going to clear that out, and that one's done, and that one is done. So, we are next going to go to settings, and over here I have my settings. Whoops, wrong one. And for all those who uh, are wondering, uh, this Verizon version will be my wife's phone. Uh, she cannot stand AT&T, so the second that they offered it, uh, she was all over it and wanted to switch. So her contract was up, so I switched her over. All right, so we've cleared everything, and uh, we're just going to test out the browser speeds. Now, I did have some unique results when I did try it out. So let's see if we can replicate those and see exactly what we got. Now, first things first, those are my networks. Uh, I Really, to be honest with you, going to Google probably isn't, a, isn't much of a speed test, to be completely honest with you. But, uh, you know, just for sanity's sake, there's the Verizon iPhone on the right side there, already done loading. And the AT&T phone is going and going. You notice we've dropped down the one bar, two bars. So... Obviously, uh, Verizon, a much stronger presence in my area. Uh, but let's be honest, um, I've tried a couple different uh, speed tests at work, on the road, and I'm getting the same results. So for me, and anyone else watching this in the Pennsylvania, Philadelphia area, you know, if you're debating on which to go to, you might have a better result uh, sticking with AT&T or going with Verizon. So if it works for you, so it just got done loading, so you guys can put two and two together on how long that took. Now, next thing we want to do here is, uh, you know what, I probably should, that may have logged in, because I did log into my Google there, so uh, we'll double check that. Now, other things that I've done here, uh, I've gone to um, CNN.com on there, and we'll try that over here. CNN.com, CNN.com, and I think it's going to take me to a mobile version, so we'll see exactly uh, who loads faster. Yeah, see, it's taken us to the mobile version, but regardless, it's still loading up, both of the same sites, and the Verizon's done, and the at and still going, still going, still going. Pictures loaded up, and that's it. So it was at five, six seconds. Uh, big difference? No, but notable, obviously. So you get the idea, guys. Uh, it, it's definitely uh, more quick uh, as far as my area goes when it comes to the browser speeds. Now, I did run a couple tests uh, as far as the speed tests go. Now, in my opinion, a speed test is only as good as the network uh, allows it to run, and my reason for saying that is I have Verizon Fios on my computer at home and I am testing out and uh, getting uh, 35 up 35 down in most cases and uh, somewhere in the 20s and 30s you know but I'm not 
uploading it at 35 or 30 or 25 or 20. So in my opinion, it's only as good as it actually shows and actually works. So take this test with a grain of salt. Again, Verizon, AT&T. So we'll begin the test and you see exactly, you know, see if we get the same results that I was getting today. Pinged at 254, 354. So we already know that uh, the speeds will probably be better on the Verizon version. And you guys can see there, absolutely horrible. Absolutely horrible. I, you know, I'm not getting anything when it comes to download from my AT&T. And this isn't much uh, a much different result uh, than I got trying the uploads. Now, the uploads in some cases were better on AT&T. As you can see right there, I'm getting uh, better speeds. So 533, 733, and the download was just absolutely horrible. Now, on some of the results that I did uh, earlier, you guys can see that it, in this test I ran 345 down, 873 up. 899 down, 819 up. And you can see down there, 37, horrible. Now these are all at the same time. I ran these tests at the same time and different shots. So you can see that Verizon was just blowing it away as far as uh, getting all that uh, cleaned up and... Uh, you know, uh, cleaned up, getting that all, you know, as far as your browser speed's going. But like I said, the browser speed's great. You're going to test it. But until you're out there loading a web page, uh, you know, it can fluctuate up and down. As you see, when those tests are running, that does fluctuate. So those are the quick speed tests that I ran on that. And I found that in my area, Verizon was better. In your area, it could be different, you know? I don't want to sit there and say that one is better than the other, uh, 100% but this is one of the first tests I tried one of the things I wanted to try out but uh that's it let's get on to the next test hey guys I am at the second portion of my test here and uh, what I really want to test out is not even necessarily the idea of how fast the phone is on Wi-Fi I mean come on Wi-Fi is Wi-Fi guys depending on where you're at and, and what connection you got we all know what the phone looks like it's the iPhone 4, so there really isn't anything else to test out. So as you guys can see here, I have Doug on the phone, uh, Mr. Double D50, and he's going to help me out with my next test. So there is one particular spot that I always lose signal when I'm talking on the phone, regardless who I'm talking to, what time of day, and it's this one port, uh, one port, one part of my uh, drive home from work. So. We're going to check that out right now. And uh, Doug, uh, say hi to everybody on the uh, YouTube verse. Hi to everybody. So we got a nice little echo going here. It's like a uh, it's like a great Skype call on uh, on uh, 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 Ustream or uh, <laughs> or Stickham. <laughs> so Doug uh, Doug has his own channel as Mr. Double D Fifty, and he's my reporter right now, live from the scene. He's probably in his house. <laughs> I am. You are. You're not in your bathroom, are you? I am in the bedroom. Oh, I said the bathroom, you fool. No, I just left there. No, oh, okay, good, good, good. Well, we definitely don't want that. So, <laughs> we are actually approaching the area right now, and I've got the camera zoomed in on the phone, so that's the most important part here. I'm not necessarily worrying about uh, showing you where I'm at, but uh, the phones are uh, are doing their thing right now, and the nice thing is we're pulling up to a red light right here. So we are now down to, well, the Verizon's got the four bars and the AT&T's got three. Now this is where it could generally drop off and where it does. So I hope it doesn't make a liar out of me and it's not, not drop off. On the Verizon phone. What's that? The sound quality sounds better on the Verizon phone. Really? Oh yeah, guys, Doug has uh, two different phones uh, up to each ear. So he's obviously listening to the call quality. So thank you very much for that. And uh, oh, and you know why we're waiting here, guys? Uh, we can simply go to the uh, f my uh, AT&T phone, and uh, I can search on the internet while I'm talking to to Mr. Doug. And uh, you know, I can surf the web. If we do that on the Verizon iPhone, uh, unfortunately, that will not work. See, data cell uh, cellular data connections are not available during this call. So we are going down the hole right here, down the hole. And this is where the call usually drops off uh, in this general area. So everything is, uh, well, everything's looking good right now. I got this big-ass truck behind me. 
and he's riding my ass. Do I hit my brakes and make YouTube history? <laughs> so, of course, the phone call doesn't drop, and that's where I, I'd probably say 80, 80 to 85% of the time I would lose a call right there, and of course I don't lose it, so that just kind of is a, is a kick in the ass. Maybe it's because of the Verizon phone sitting next to it, the AT&T phone's trying to show off. It's like a hot spot. Yeah, uh, I, I guess. I, I highly doubt that, but both of them are sitting at three bars right now. So, well, that concludes my test for that. At least I got to show you guys that you can't surf the net and uh, and do that stuff at the same time. But maybe another time I'll get Doug on the phone with just the AT&T phone, and maybe we can show you guys if it drops off. So uh, that concludes this fail portion of the test, and uh, AT&T did not fail. So, Doug, I want to thank you very much for uh, helping me out here. And uh, okay. go ahead. What were you gonna say? Oh, I was gonna say thanks for having me on, and uh, you know, anytime, buddy. Exactly. So we got the hearing stereo. We didn't lose one phone. Yeah. So, <laughs> all right, guys. Well, that concludes this test, and uh, here comes the next one. Okay, guys. So we've run a couple tests on there, and obviously, depending on where you live, you're going to get different results. I just wanted to throw my two cents in exactly where I live. I know there's a lot of people from Philadelphia that watch these and in surrounding areas. So just to give you an idea. But like I said, if you've got strong Verizon in your area or strong AT&T, you know, you're going to get, or weak, or you know what I mean, different ones back and forth. You're going to get different results. Next thing, just real quick I wanted to cover are some cases. Now, I had the spec uh, tough case uh, on my on the on the phone and uh it did not work because the cutout for the sleep or for the vibrate switch is a little bit off on the Verizon for instance the new carbon case by Casemate uh the way that they have this cut out this actually works with the Verizon phone so you can see there that is perfect everything lines up just well what you need and you're all set so that's a case that works with the Verizon iPhone and uh, things like this, uh, the Capsule Rebels will not because they simply don't have the, the space uh, set up for it to do that. This is the top of the uh, iChair case. You can see that that lines up perfectly. That is all set up. They clearly uh, you know, either thought of that or had an idea what it could be and just decided to design around it. Um, other things that I have that I don't really have out right now, uh, you know, like I said, the... The uh, spec cases, uh, let's see here, we've got, that's actually for a 3GS. I'm just doing this impromptu here, guys. Uh, we've got a Rebel uh, for the iPhone 4 we got over here. Now, of course, we all know, of course, I look at that, I actually didn't realize that I broke that. Uh, we all know that that's uh, probably not going to work in here because of the way that they have that design and uh, it will not line up so let's just throw that in there just to show you guys eh, probably not the nope not gonna work so obviously you have an instance where the case is going to be a much closer fit around the uh, vibrate switch it's not going to work so just real quick guys I wanted to show you that and to wrap everything up uh, for the area that I live in the uh, Verizon iPhone is you know probably going to work better and I'll keep continuing doing tests unfortunately <laughs> in that video with Doug uh, clip with Doug we weren't able to get the uh, phone call to drop and uh, you know that's a big fat fail on my part and uh, you know what are you gonna do but uh, that's a little bit I'll have a lot more uh, coming up and uh, just real quick the spec fitted case that I just spotted over there that will work on there as well as you can see that will line up and uh, you'll be all set. So anything that has a wider cut out here on the edge will probably be set up and you'll be good to go. And uh, those aren't going to be affected too much. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Tried to bring make it a little bit different and uh, make it a little bit enjoyable. And uh, things that I always wanted to see when I have head-to-heads. But I never really, uh, you know, going to buy phones like this typically. So this is a one-off and, uh, you know, I was excited to try it out. So guys, this is MTP Flyers, Verizon, AT&T, where do you live, who's stronger, is where you're going to have your, uh, your probably your better, uh, your, your better luck and uh, you'd be more satisfied with it. And uh, we'll be back with some more, you guys take it easy, have a great night. See ya!